Oh, well, hello there, you. Oh my god, fancy seeing you here again. Oh my god, or if you're new, welcome to Coffee Barbarians. Little episode of Little Frames. Yeah, hell yeah. Little episode, there's like 200 episodes. Something like that. I don't know. I've lost count. Anyway, here we are on the plains of Eidolone. <laughs> I'm Thedas, and I've come here because. My next little goal in this game was to be able to do Eidolons stroke Tridolons. That's right, solo. I know, I'm cray cray. <laughs> Honestly, what is wrong with me? I actually do think, after doing the Hydra list, that's coming in the next episode, that I really do need to squad up for that because it'd just be so much easier with a squad. But I just wanted to prove that I could do it. Um, but today we're going to focus on the first Eidolon, the Eidolon um, Terror List. And this isn't a guide, this is just kind of like my progress from starting it to kind of getting more efficient at it. I'm not really a meta gamer, I'm really not, <laughs> definitely not actually. But I realised very quickly that you really do need to follow a certain kind of meta way of doing it. And I'm cringing as I'm saying it because it's like, oh, I just want to have fun. But I mean, to get it done without wanting to poke yourself in the eye. <laughs> To relieve the pain of it uh, you really do need to focus on a kind of meta-ish build so i know i apologize in advance to the new players but i am going to show you my progress i didn't start with as you can see vault i didn't start with him at all no 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 i went with my neza so we're just going to watch the progress and i don't get too pressed if you are an eidolon hunter extraordinaire people have got to learn and i'm one of those folks okay i've done them in the past but i just wanted to get better and the way you do that is by practicing so that's what you're gonna see so my darlings as i said this is not a guide video but i will go over some of the details in case you're here for a bit of guidance or you just don't know anything about eidolons if you know stuff about eidolons Again, I'm sorry, I am teaching my grandma to suck eggs and I'll probably get some of it wrong. So feel free to correct me in the comments. I know you guys won't hold back, but it's important to get it right, isn't it? But the first thing um, I did, we will go over my ant build. I didn't actually record my original ant build and it is important, the ant that you use, to take the Eidolon shields down. But the first thing I would do is come out, I did this as a bounty, but you can come out free roam at uh, night time on Cetus. It's got to be night time on Cetus, not night time on Earth. There is a Warframe hub, which I will show, that tells you this and you can monitor it. And if you're obsessive, you can set alarms and things. <laughs> I may have done that once or twice. Anyway, because it's just a short window, man, to get this stuff done. Anyway, so I came out and I got these two Leos, as you saw. I ran around, shot them, ciphered them, and then they'll follow me around. And they're yellow at the moment. But what I'm going to do is, once they're tethered to a little Eidolon Vombolus, those teeny tiny little bobbing heads, um, I'll shoot it with a normal gun. I don't want to take it down completely with my amp. The Eidolon Vombolus then get sucked up into your Eidolon viewers and charge it up. As you can see, one's turned like an aquamarine, marine, bluey, greeny colour. That means it's charged. And all that means now is that when we take this Eidolon shield down, it's very close, it's that purple line, over the yellow, once it's down, and we shoot out one of its um, limbs, its joints, it's got four joints, let's say four limbs, um, the shoulders-ish and the knees. <laughs> Once you shoot one of those down, the Eidolon will kind of like have a dramatic flail around. If you don't have a lure charged up at this point, they'll just sink into the earth, disappear, and then respawn somewhere else on Sadus, Plains of Eidolon, and you've got to go and find it. And all that means is you're kind of wasting time. That's it, that's all. And if you want to be efficient, you just want to hold on to it. So you're just holding on to the Eidolon. Um, as you can see, I'm just shooting its arm. Uh, I call them radiators. <laughs> I don't know what they're actually called. Um, it'll go down and then it'll like pulsate, you know, damage essentially. But you can see the lure is tethered to it and it won't let it go. Um, so that's awesome, right? <laughs> and Neza, I mean, ugh, Neza can just stand in the full face of all that, whatever damage it is, and take it, man. And there are a lot of um, Warframes that just can't. But we're going to get into the next, the meta Warframe really <laughs> soon. So don't get too pressed about this playthrough because this is just me learning man this is just me reminding myself what i need to focus on when i'm doing the eidolons and you know speed really is of the essence i mean i saw that in all the forums on reddit and things like you really just need to do it quickly especially when you get to the gang gang list and the hydrola list the next two eidolons you know because they're just going to destroy everything around you everything you know and love man so as you can see i'm still working on the shields on this eidolon 
and I think I've got one more limb to go but in the meantime I want to talk about the amp so the amp that I'm using here is actually an amp I got from my LR1 account where from my Xbox LR1 account when I merged and there is a merge video there um, this build I will bring it up at some point in this video I will show you the amp and all the arcanes I've put in it um, it's the Clamora prism now I'm pretty sure this is the 777 amp build I'm pretty sure it is it's Kamora Prism, Propa Scaffold, and the Certus Bridge. And I think you can get these from the higher level unlocks on Fortuna with Little Duck, which means you've kind of got to do the Profit Taker and Exploiter Orb, which I haven't actually got around to doing on this account. So I, 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 I don't know what to say to you guys. <laughs> Obviously, there are other amp builds you can use, but these are the most like reliable, useful ones. And there are so many other elements to sort of mash together to make yourself more efficient with this idol on hunt that I'm going to go over that I learned on my way from other players and what they were saying in forums and things. Um, and it really does pay to listen to more experienced players, you know, I'm just saying. Anywho, when Quilonko pops up and says a sentient energy contained, that means that you've taken down all four limbs. Congrats, well done you. And the Eidolon goes into full flailing around drama mode and starts sucking in or asking its little Vombolus to come in, that glowing green, to recharge its batteries, man. It just wants its shield back. If they succeed, all that means is it's just going to take a little bit longer. You're going to have to take that shield down again with your amp and then get to the point where you can take the Eidolon down. Now, because we've got the two Leors, it won't die. This is not going to be a killed Eidolon. This is going to be a captured Eidolon. And captured Eidolons just drop the better shards, the brilliant Eidolon shards, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. And um, you don't want to kill it because it just makes you sad. <laughs> As you can see, I popped out my Void Rig Necromech. His fourth ability is the Arquebex Big Guns. And... I, I will show you the builds. It's got radiation damage on it, and as you can see, it, it took it down quite quickly. And this is like with very few buffs at this point. We'll get into the buffs. <laughs> oh, yes, we will, because I learned. I learned. I've just got to practice. And uh, yeah, as you can see, there's a Vomvalis around. The Eidolon got, you know, it went up in the air <laughs> very dramatically. The Leol's tethered it. It's captured. It's dropped all the goodies, and now we can go around and kill the rest of the Vomvalists. Vomvalists? I want to call them Vombles. <laughs> the vomvals of Eidolon and uh, yeah we can pick up all the goodies because this was a bounty it's just saying that I've completed the bounty yay me if I wanted to at this point I believe I could take that brilliant Eidolon shard I picked up and go and start the second Eidolon and it's the same in free roam and obviously you can come out and do the Eidolon um Tridolon uh, bounty as well I started doing the Tridolon on free roam just to try to get the hang of it really with less pressure of failing a bounty, so it doesn't be, you know, I just can't take the pressure, man. So, yeah, that's it. That's the first Eidolon down with Neza. Now, that is a very inefficient way of doing it. Um, I've got the good amp, but I didn't have all the arcanes I needed. So, I full disclosure, I went and bought some of the arcanes I needed. I'm going to go over them. Um, they do drop in various places in the game. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I know some people get a bit salty about, oh, you're just buying stuff. You're not telling us how to do it. I'm not here to do that, <laughs> okay? I'm just telling you what I'm doing. And, um... I trade a lot, so I do a lot of uh, Void Relic missions, and I get a lot of Prime sets, and I sell them for very small amounts of plat-ish, and I make the monies, and then I go and buy the things I actually really need and want, and I don't do that with everything, obviously I do earn some stuff in this game, and I earned a lot of stuff from my LR1, I don't know why I'm explaining myself to you, you don't care. Anyway, as you can see, I ranked myself up with Quilonko, I've got 1,800 intact sentient cores, and that, again, is like brought over from my LR1 Xbox account, so I ranked up, and then, yeah, we're going to move on and start looking i realize very soon on that i have to start looking at vault and my rubico prime build my amp etc etc so yes at this point i realized i really do need to start looking at vault i, I dug out one of my vault primes that's right i have two uh it's the merged account thing and i'm very loath to get rid of them in case i want to form one up differently to the other <laughs> Oh, I know how eccentric is that. Anyway, so I looked, I started looking at Vault Prime and I did look online for builds and I wasn't close to getting the right build and I wanted to tweak it a little bit. Um, so this is the beginning of me figuring that I need to probably reform him a little bit and fiddle with um, various arcane loadouts and trying to build up those arc arcane guardian um, uh, arcanes are so hard to get hold of. I believe they do drop from the Eidolon or the Tridolons. 
um but there are people out there that have already got a load of those arcanes now they are quite expensive for an arcane but that's because they're just so rare so i'll leave that in your hands whether you want to work on building up your arcane um guardians <laughs> oh my god it was a decision you know i had to make i already had a ton of them from my other account so I'm, i am in a very good place i understand but in the meantime, I also realised that I needed a damage buff on Vault, whether it be Raw or... I went for Eclipse, as you can see, Mirage's Eclipse. And man, oh man, when you combine that with Vault's electricity damage on his various abilities, and as you can see, the School of Focus becomes important. Ooh, you can buff that up. You can make things really goddamn good. <laughs> so the Magi School of Focus, I, I put all of my focus into Xenuric, unfortunately, on this account. I was fully ranked... Uh, with Majorai on my other account. Now, in the guides, they're like, first, have full Majorai focus. And you're like, okay, that'll take a moment. It does take a moment to rank it up. But what we're focusing on is these these first three, as you can see, the Void Sling, the Chain, and um, the, the one but beyond it is the Sling Strength. Now, that buffs up your abilities on your Warframe. And that, my darlings, is why we need the Majorai. And... Um, even on this, where it wasn't like really fully ranked up, it still did really well. And I'm going to show it to you. If you pop that, do your, your chain sling, <laughs> then pop Eclipse, then pop all of other Vault's other abilities, then pop out as your um, operator. Man, you can take those shields down damn quick. Um, but before I show you those damn quick shield depletions i'm going to show you the amp that i was using so as i mentioned maybe before previously this amp came over from my lr1 xbox account and this is you would get it from little duck on fortuna it is the clamora prism the proper scaffold and the certus bridge build and i called it the eviscerator when i killed it because <laughs> it eviscerated literally the eidolon shields however oh my god once you pop all those abilities as i mentioned it just goes brrr, it's gone oh it's so good anyway i wanted to show you the arcanes that i used on it so these are my operator amps There's no operator arcanes god i will keep calling them amps it drives me insane and those are my amp arcanes <laughs> eternal eradicate and eternal onslaught the operator arcanes i just went for like i think it was an armor buff and a energy renewance buff and oh my god they're it's just so useful and as you can see they're fully ranked up pretty much apart from this emergence renewed and that's still pretty powerful the 250 percent increase of energy regen and the armor i went for armor because try and keep my um, operator alive for as long as possible and the eternal on sort and eradicate this is a energy depleted one on energy depleted 180 percent critical chance for eight seconds that's pretty useful right especially when you're trying to take down idle on limbs super quick and the eternal eradicate on operator ability 60 plus 60 percent damage to amps for eight seconds so this operator ability is actually really important because we're going to use the operator ability a lot on the magi ah and it's like this beautiful like order of operations that you've just got to get right and when you get it right it really works and this is what i've been practicing and i'm not there yet i'm not even going to pretend that i'm there that not even in this video am i there yet but we're getting there and i'm kind of excited about it guys and now I just want to show you my kind of finished vault build. Now, I will try and show you a Eidolon fight with this build in it because there were a lot of bits in between what you just saw and now <laughs> for me to rank him up. I formed him, what, five or six times and his ability strengths at 339%. I went and tried to rank up my Arcane Guardian again, etc. I put um, Arcane Nullifier in there. That's magnetic damage resistance. And yeah, we're just working on it, man. Um, I don't know if I got this build from somewhere. If I was, I think I got a build and I didn't like it, so I tweaked it slightly. <laughs> There were builds that included this Vault Augment mod, Shock Trooper, but I took it out. <laughs> I didn't really use it much. The other thing I want to talk about is the star of the show, which I'm using is the Rubico Prime. And as you can see, I do have a Riven mod, but I don't think a Riven mod is actually like critical, <laughs> excuse the pun, for the Rubico Prime to do well on an Eidolon hunt. Gen genuinely, you don't need um, a Riven mod. I think I just luckily had one for my other account i'm not sure i can't remember where i got this one but it does boost up the crit and boosting up the crit is wonderful but that's my rubico prime build this is what i'm using at the moment and i i'm pretty sure i can work on it pretty sure there's something i can do guys if you've got any suggestions again hit me up in the comments i'm always happy to try things out 
And I do appreciate, guys, that if you're new to the game, none of this is going to be that useful, but it is something to start looking toward if you want to. Um, I just want to show people what I'm up to. I'm not telling you, oh, you must do this right now. But this is my Void Rig build. This is actually my Void Rig Necromech from my other account, my LR1 Xbox account, and it's fully ranked up to 40. The one I've got on the current account, this PC account, is not ranked up to 40. So that's what I would have been aiming to do, um, shoving some formers in. And obviously collecting as many Necromech mods as I could from the Necrolisk and anywhere else in the game that you can get Necromech mods. I can't remember where they all are now, but I mean, Wiki, Warframe Wiki is your friend. All you gotta do is type it in and ask, where the hell can I get this stuff? And it will tell you. Um, well, people will. <laughs> you know, they're super useful. This is where I've learned it all, pretty much. And yeah, that's my Necromech build. Now my Necromech, you know, it's okay, but what I'm really interested in showing you is the Arquebex build. Ah, oh, the lovely Arquebex. Oh, the fourth ability of the Void Rig Necromech. Now, as you can see, it's classed as an art gun, so it's those mods that really you need to focus on to get the strength up on this weapon. And as you can see, I put heat and electric in and the containment breaches a radiation damage mod. And I think I have multi-shot in it, but as you can see, the radiation based damage is 111,000, <laughs> which is a good start. This is an unformed Arquebex, so you know, we can work on it, definitely improve matters, but it's doing, it's holding its own. That's all I can say, guys. Okay, guys, it's time for another Eidolon Terrorless. Now, at this point, I was already starting to look at doing the Tridolon or just at least try the second one, but we're gonna do that in another video. Otherwise, I will literally bore you to tears. But in this one, I just wanted to show you like the progress from that beginning one with Neza to this point now. So obviously I've already come out in between. I've been ranking up Vault. I've been trying to work out my Arcanes. I've been trying to not perfect it, but just improve and get better. Now at this point, I'm still having to pop a lot of energy pizzas, <laughs> as they call them, for Vault at the beginning here. Um, I do end up working towards putting Archon Shards in Vault, which I will show you at a later date, probably in the next video, because um, you can get the Archon Shards that basically boost up your base um, energy when you pop out into a mission or Cetus or wherever you are, uh, like Preparation Mod really, but Archon Shards, and that just saves you a Preparation Mod slot, right? Yeah, hell yeah. So as per usual, the first thing I will do is come out and look for a couple of lures. They're usually in the same place each time or in a similar area, so you know where to go each time. And they do respawn in if they do end up dying, so don't stress too much, you can go and get them. <laughs> uh, you will see me going and getting more lures in the Tridolon. <laughs> don't worry, we'll go over that and I will be accepting hints and tips aplenty in those videos. Oh hell yes. So yeah, let's get into it. Let's get into this um, Eidolon. I, I kind of want to stop talking and let you see the progress from that first Neza one to this one and just how much quicker it is. And I'm still working on the order of operations here. So I've got my Majorai School buff um, and I will zoom in and show you the damage buff that it gives on the Eclipse. Um, oh my, it's so good. And if you can just get it right, it's just not one-shotting, but it's very close to one-shotting the Eidolon. It's so good. <laughs> Honestly, it's addictive.
close by, wary of you. a slightly gut-wrenching sound of a nylon being taken down honestly it still upsets me oh no look goodies doesn't matter um <laughs> seriously i'm such a loot goblin i'm like ah, i don't my emotions are deadened now by the loot goblin deliciousness anyways so i what do you think of idlons guys um don't be too pressed and stressed out about what i'm doing in this video because i promise you it gets better I am about to jump off and get three Eidolon girls because this was the first time I decided to take on the next Eidolon, the Ganchilis, I think it's called. I want to call it the Garganchilis. <laughs> I'm going to call it that. And um, I'm just going to tease you right here and now because this is what I'm heading off to do. But we're going to take that up in another video and I, it's still a work in progress. And I do keep improving the order of operations. You know, there are times where I'm a bit pressed and I just forget to pop certain abilities and make my life ever so slightly less easy, you know? And Eidolons are just not easy unless you've run them quite a few times, you've got your build down and you just know exactly what you're doing. And that, my darlings, it does take practice, it does take a bit of time, but I love it. I love this sort of learning curve and I love just absorbing new stuff and having a go and trying to perfect it or just get as good as you can, but still in the spirit of having funsies so be kind in your comments guys because i continue to improve after 
this footage and it, it does like i said it takes practice so i'm just teasing you here with the uh the next idol on <laughs> we're gonna cut right now into a massive juicy thank you to all of you who have watched liked and hit the sub button we are of like as i record this less than 30 subs away from the 1k mark which it literally blows my mind i wanted to get to that particular goal within a year of editing and uploading videos and i think end of march beginning of april is that cutoff point for my little goal and i think hopefully we'll get there i feel maybe we will you guys have been freaking amazing and supportive and also not just the warframers but i know there are other people that have come to this channel for other games i was playing in the past <laughs> daisy was one of them scum subnautica below zero witcher three the Room, um, Demonologist, I've played a few games and I do intend to play some other games and I'm open to suggestions. In the meantime, my darlings, I just want to say I really do hope to see you in the next episode, no matter what that may be. In the meantime, you take care now and goodbye.